So there was a ship that went down in Arizona <clears throat> um, and uh, Tucker confirmed it for me today and somebody else had confirmed it for me also. Um, and there were five ETs there. Um, I know there were Pleiadians and I think the uh, some were Uyel. Um, I know one of the Uyels died because um, I saw it. Um, I think three were captured to die. Um, it's near a small... Yes, it's near a small town in Arizona. Yeah, because I, I saw all of this. Um, uh -huh. um, and I was I was told before it happened. So oh, wow. I I send them the warning. Sabrina, when did this happen? Which day? I believe it was last Friday. Uh, this this Friday, but I you know I was told a week before. Wow. Nice miracle. And I uh, <clears throat> um, I try to warn them and tell them and you know they try to check and see because I I knew I knew about it but I, there, I guess I too many she started talking to me about this about a week ago. Um, they they uh -oh. they they try to check and see um, who, where, but it's just too many ships. Mm -hmm. So I couldn't help them. But mm -hmm. um, yeah, so now I just want to try and help them somehow, the ones that are captured. Yeah, so they have three now, right, that they're holding hostage. Yeah. Um, Are this Yale? You... It's a, I. I'm not sure. Did uh, you say girl. one Yale and the rest I saw one. I, I I didn't see all of them. I only saw one that was in the ground. Uh -huh. I I saw him. He lifted his head and sort of like, almost like he looked at me, kind of thing. But he was dead. He died. Mhm. Mm Max, why did you say a miracle? A miracle, of course. But uh, we are talking about uh, Rick Chip and dead, dead. I mean, a miracle that uh, Sabrina was warned a week before and she was able to channel and see the stuff. And it was a confirmed miracle. Basically, it was confirmed from different sources. It's nice to have a just, you know, another yeah. confirmation of that extra powers. Yeah, I was hoping to hear something in the news, but I didn't hear anything. I googled, I found few, but there is so many reports of UFO crashes. I mean, it was hard to find which one was that. Yeah, sometimes we don't hear about it for a while after it's happened, too. Yeah, it was in the Arizona desert. Um. So but yesterday yeah. was crashed yesterday? No. Oh, uh, Friday the 1st? Yeah. I got it. No, I didn't see any reports for the for Friday, July 1st. Yeah, I know. I was like, because I, I, I thought, okay, if it becomes the next Roswell, that would be good. Um, yeah. Was, I mean, there is a point in the it. It as well. Yeah. Um, yes. And I was wondering uh, what you could tell us about that, and and since we haven't heard anything about it. When when the ship crashed, it was brought down suddenly, so there was not much information given before the actual crash. But we know that there were uh, grays involved in. Uh, the crash. I do not know if they were meaning to cause the crash or if it was accidental. This information has not been brought forward. The There has been some casualties with this crash, but we do not know a great deal about it because your governments swarmed in and took over pretty much. Um, we did 
the communication system on the ships were badly damaged because it happened to crash in a way that they, the that part of the ship was a very badly damaged. Do you understand? So yes. we've gotten some information, but most of the information that we have gotten is from sources within the government of your government that we have perhaps some people that are connected with us there. And so the information is that there were at least a few fatalities and that this is very top secret and that it is being dealt with in a way that is probably not uh, as good as we would want it to be. However, we know this. There are still some that are alive and there are those that are trying to communicate with your governments about what has happened and trying to find a way back into uh, friendly space. Okay, because I, um, I saw I saw one of the ones that that died, and um, and I know that they capture some. Yes. And I believe the 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 crew was between three or five. I I am not sure about yes, that. It was a small crew. It was a small ship. Yes. Yes. Um, now, are, are you negotiating? Are you going to try and negotiate with them to release the ETs that were captured? We have been in contact with some officials in that area, but they are not saying that they are not actually admitting that there are any survivors. Okay. But we know that they are because yes. information from inside some of these facilities tells us that there are at least two to three survivors. Yes, I think there's three. So therefore we know that they are not telling us the truth about that. They said that all passengers had passed. However, we know that that is not true. Yeah, because um, I, was, I was forewarned about it. Well, we also let them know that we know that there are, we found vital statistics and life signs of some of the survivors. And so, therefore, we let them know, and they, they did not respond to that. Okay. All right. So, we are working with them. We are sending friendly messages, of course. Nothing threatening, nothing of a warning of any kind. They, we are being as friendly as possible. We do want our survivors back. They are not actually from the Gurkfiknir project or alliance, whatever you want to call it, but they are from uh, friends. They are friends. Yes, and they're good ETs, and I think... Yes, they are, um, not, they are not of negative... No, they are not, so I think, I think it is important um, that we do whatever possible to help them. We, we sense that they are frightened and that they are confined. Okay. This is the information that we have so far. All right. Yeah, because um, cause I, 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 I saw it. Um, and I, I don't know if you can speak of near where it is. It is not necessary to speak of where, but um, because we do not want people rushing there or going there. This would only cause more problems. Okay. So, but I'll let you guys get back to your conversation. Sorry. Well, it kind of had to do with that because, you know, we were talking about, um, you know, how health and matters like that and you know, if they are holding three, then how do we know that their health is okay? How do how do we know that that? I mean, maybe you'd like to be able to channel them, but like you said, they're being if they're being held in a room where they have all of that blocked, then there's no way to get through to them. They can't get through to their homeland. Um, it must be very scary for them to be 
stuck in this room that doesn't allow them to communicate. I don't think aliens are that easy to scare. I think they are more like uh, saints, at least from my perspective. They understand. Saints? I don't know. I, I don't think they always tell the truth either, so I don't know if I'd go so far as saints, Max. <laughs> that, you know, good and bad in all beings is how I think about it, and I have heard good and bad stories, so I like to keep that, that well, even I mean, point of view. I mean, they're psychic. They're very psychic. They have understanding of their karmic path, of their connection to the spirit, of their connection to the past lives and all of that. I, I'm so much sure. more wise. Yeah, they remember their past lives. So for them, the death I don't think is scary as for humans because for most humans it's like still mo most humans don't believe they will live again. For them, it's like end point. And for aliens, they they understand basically they, the reincarnation for them is you know is not a belief, but uh, you know they know about it from inner psychic ability. So, but again, I mean, it's just, you know... Yeah, see, I see, I try to um, to see where it was, so I managed to walk through this little town that is next to the crash site. Um, but I couldn't get, I couldn't figure out the, the name of the town. Um, uh -huh. But but I know there was you know there there was this this small town next to it. I think a few people saw it. Um, but I'm I'm not sure if it got recorded or anything. So I haven't tried to see any more about it. Um. So I have to try and see if I can get any information on on the uh, the ones that were also. I think it would be good if we if we try and do that, you know, using our different abilities. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, that's what Ray was just saying to everyone to open up and try to receive pictures that um, tell a story for you. When I listen to that, to the energy of it, I don't feel. Yeah, because these are good guys. These weren't, you know, um, they're, they're, I'm pretty sure that the, their ship was sabotaged by Greys. Um, so, and, and I knew that beforehand. Um, I, I, you know, because I was given that information, but. Mm. Sorry, I got a mosquito here. It kind of bugs me. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, Sorry. so, but, um, you know, they're obviously they weren't here to do anything, and, and hopefully the government realizes that and lets them go. Mm -hmm. I, I wonder whose decision is to release them. Yes, good question, Max. <laughs>